Hello everyone, and welcome to this demo showing how to use the F5 Distributed Cloud multi-cloud networking with a multi-cluster app that has modules spanning the same IP address across multiple sites. I'm Dave Potter, and I'm a Senior Technical Marketing Engineer at F5. Delivering an app using the F5 Distributed Cloud to provide a multi-cluster mesh of your app is pretty straightforward. Whether your app is hosted in AWS, Azure, or GCP, or even on-prem, it's very easy to use the global network to connect all of your different endpoints. Using the Distributed Cloud Distributed Apps mechanism, you can discover apps already running within your cloud, and you can control how external access is able to reach those apps, including external access from the point of within another internal network. And you can make that adjustment depending on where you're accessing from. Depending on the source endpoint, you could have a different rule based on things like which route applies to that connection. So you can advertise this securely and only allow certain sites within your mesh to be able to access certain endpoints. And finally, you can add security policies like the WAF and firewall policies to further provide more granular controls in terms of what type of access should be allowed to the app, as well as what type of requests and so forth. This all establishes a secure end-to-end -end connection between the origin site and the destination site, and it's all done easily using the distributed cloud load balancers. This allows for rapid deployment, fine-grained controls, consistent operations, and finally, and best of all, being able to provide a unified visibility dashboard so that you can see how your applications are running at all within a glance in the distributed cloud console. Now I'm going to show you an application that is broken out by module. I have the Arcadia Finance app. It's currently running in AWS and also in Azure. And a module from that app is being moved from Azure to another contractor that will be maintaining it. And they happen to be using GCP. And if you notice here on the slide, the sites on the left and right, GCP and Azure, both use the exact same CIDR block. And in order to overcome this problem, we use an HTTP load balancer to address this specific scenario. Here we're in the distributed cloud console. And looking at the load balancers page, we have our module for main module for the app, which we can reach as an ingress point. From within the app, we're calling out to our refer a friend module, which currently lives in Azure. If we take a look at the load balancer policy, you can see that we have a name, refer a friend internal and the origin pool is located in Azure. Now the VIP for this is advertised both internally into my cluster within Azure so that I can resolve it within the cluster as well as to uh, external sites that are located in my Azure VNet. And to see how that looks, we can go over to our application and in the top left window, I've logged into my pod for the app. And this pod makes a call out to refer friend.demo internal slash app3. I can see here when I call that out, I'm able to resolve it. And we can see that the site header in the response is, in fact, confirming that the location for that module is indeed running in Azure. Now, this is running on my Docker host in Azure and the IP address is 1040.0.6. Now I have the same Docker host running in GCP where I'm transferring this module to, and its IP address is 1040.0.4. Now normally I would not be able to reach this app or even move it to another site without changing its CIDR block, but using a load balancer policy with origin pools, I'm able to overcome this by allowing the distributed cloud network to tunnel this connection from one endpoint to the other. Now let's see how to do that. So if we go under load balancers, origin pools, you can see that we have our refer a friend module already in Azure. I'll now create one for GCP. Looking at our origin pool, we have the name, the origin servers, 
104004, and that's in another site, GCP, and we're accessing it through the outside interface of that site. Port 80, and most importantly, the endpoint selection for reaching devices here would be all endpoints, meaning that wherever the request is originating from, I'm allowing the local endpoint where the service is running to be able to handle that request. We have our health checks, and that's all that's needed. With that policy or origin server in place, we can go back to the load balancer policy, edit the configuration, and then we'll just simply go down and change our origin pool from Azure to GCP. And that's all that's needed. We're going to go ahead and save our change. And with that sa change saved, now when I go to resolve or connect to that module from my cluster running in Azure, I now expect to see the connection be able to hit my module running in GCP. We need to give it just a moment to come back up, and there we have it. We now resolved our request to GCP. So this is just one of the many ways that using the F5 distributed cloud can overcome challenges like IP address overlapping, as well as being able to make it possible to manage your application with multiple modules and to be able to parse those modules out between different sites as needed by your business policies. Thanks for watching.